Hi Thomas, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Do you remember me? I'm Katie, your OT. Yeah, when you were here yesterday. Yeah, so how are you feeling today? Um, I'm alright. Nothing too major happening. What do you have going on today? You feel any better? Any worse? Your tremors get any worse today? About the same? Um, they're probably the same, but it's kind of hard to eat this morning. It was? Yeah. Okay, so today for our OT session, we're going to work on eating. I have a bunch of tools on my little tray here that we're going to have you work on. So we're first going to start with utensils and a lipped plate to try and help you to eat. So I'm going to show you two different techniques that you can use with these utensils and you can let me know which one works best for you. So I'm just going to move this in for you a little. So the first one that we're going to try is this is a weighted spoon. I'm going to have you use it in your left in your right hand and then with it it's a little heavier than a regular utensil and we hope that it's going to help to reduce your tremors to make it a little easier for you to use okay so and then if you need more assistance we can have you scoop it up against this side here okay so do you want to give that one a try first did that one make it a little easier yeah, it, it helped. It helped? Okay, I'm also going to give you a non-weighted one to try that you can try out and then we're going to put a weight on your wrist and see if that's more helpful and then you can decide which one is the best for you. That was a little harder. Yeah, that one you seem to struggle with a little more. But I'm going to go ahead and put this weight on your wrist for you and that's going to be similar to the weighted spoon and you can determine which one you would like better to eat with. So with this, it's just about a one pound weight that we have on your wrist. And then we're gonna take the non-weighted spoon again and you can try it against the side to scoop your food up. That wasn't too bad. So out of the three, which one, if you, let me take this off. Out of the three, which one would you say that you liked the best? Um, it was definitely either the weighted spoon or the lightweight spoon with the weight, but I don't know if I'd be able to put it on every day or remember it. Okay, so that. for right now, then why don't we try out this weighted spoon. For right now, I'll be able to get you the spoon, the fork, and the knife in order to make it a little easier for you to eat during your every day. And then if we can see if we can get you a set of these to go home when you're ready to go home, and if not, we could maybe take the weighted on your wrist. Oh, and nice. for right now, why don't we start with using it at least two out of your three meals a day. Okay, I can do that. Okay, so I'll let the nurses know, so when they bring in your daily meals, that they'll give you one of these utensil sets rather than the regular one. Okay, that would be helpful. And then I also heard that you're having difficulty swallowing liquids and foods. Yeah, I kind of tend to aspirate it sometimes. Okay, so here I have, it's a formula, it's called Thicket and you can add it to your liquids. I have water here for you to try in this cup, and I'm gonna add this thickener, okay. and then it's gonna make it a little thicker for you to be able to use. So you add a scoop, and then I'm just gonna stir it up here with our spoon, and it just thickens it a little so it's not as thin when it goes down your throat. We can try this thickness, and then if you need it to be thicker, we can always add more thicket. Okay. And so because you said that you've been aspirating, mm -hmm. there's a technique where if you tuck your chin down and bring the cup up like this, mm -hmm. then it may be easier for you to swallow. So why don't you try that with the thicket and then tucking your chin to your chest. Try and use both hands in order to help reduce those tremors there. That definitely helped. And that helped? Mm -hmm. That was a lot easier? Yeah. Okay, so then I'm gonna make sure that in your liquids from now on, we're gonna try and add this at least two times a day, if not at all meals, to try and decrease your spillage for now so that you feel better when you're eating and you feel more comfortable. Okay, I think that would definitely help. Is there anything else that I can do for you today? Um, no, I think I'm good, but thank you. Okay, so why don't we get you back into bed? And then I will see you tomorrow for your OT session. Sounds good. Have a good one, Thomas. You too.